guys! Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Shane. So for today's video, we're going to cook cabbage rice. So let's start. So nahugasan ko na to. I've already washed this. So let's just remove first. So for the for cabbage rice, um, there's just a couple of uh, ingredients that we'll be needing. Of course, cabbage. And then one head of onion that's finely chopped and then one teaspoon butter and then for this cabbage we need to chop this finely as in super fine but what I recommend if you have a food processor like this I have a small food processor so I'm going to use the processor so I'll show you how I do it I'm going to cut this first so I've already pre-washed it. I'm gonna show you. It's it's kind of big. Ugh. It's hard to cut. So wala namang, uh, there's no right size or shape for you to cut it as long as it will fit your food processor. So there. So since my food processor is kind of small. What I usually do is just, you know, slice this. Wait, I'm gonna show you. There. Slice this in a small part like this. And then put it here. Cut this pa. And then like this. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it first. Like how it should look like. And then afterwards, I'm gonna do the rest, okay? So, and then we cover and then we cover. So, now I'm gonna show you how it should look like. Should look like, like this. Okay? Alright, so I'm gonna process the rest and then I will be back after. Okay, I'm gonna, after processing the rest of the um, cabbage, I will be back. Alright? Okay, so guys, I am back. I'm done with the cabbage. So, this is how it should look like. This is how fine it should be. Okay? So, let us start cooking. Let's put butter first. And after the butter, let's put some onions. So again, this is one head. Then let's just start with the saute. As soon as the onion turns white, we can already put the cabbage. Okay? So, my suggestion is that the fire should be on medium heat. Okay. And also, we're going to be adding pepper and salt to taste. I like the smell of onions cooking. How about you guys? So, this is how it is. Okay, now it's turning white. We need to just sweat the onion. Okay. If you can see, the onions are turning white. It's becoming translucent. There, that's the correct term. The onions are becoming translucent. I think just a minute more. Okay. Now, guys, you can see the difference of the color, right? There. I hope you can see it now. Okay. You can see the color there. And then, afterwards, we're going to put the 
cabbage. Let's put the cabbage. So one head of cabbage will last you, let's say, for at least um, three days. So for me, oops. <laughs> okay. So a head of cabbage will, la will last for three days. Um, I'm gonna mix it first with the onion. Make sure to mix it well. Okay? This is very easy to cook because cabbage are very easy to cook. So I think this um, cabbage rice, all you need is just 10 minutes of cooking time. Now that we have mixed the cabbage with the onion, what we're going to do is we're going to be putting white pepper. If you don't have white pepper, you can use black pepper. So that's approximately a tablespoon of pepper. Now that we've mixed it, what we're going to do next is that we're going to put some salt. So for the salt, my suggestion is at least a tablespoon of salt or depending on your taste preference. So mine, I don't want it to be salty. So usually this cabbage rice um, tastes better with fried egg or let's say steamed fish. This can be your alternative for the with the regular rice. At first I was hesitant in making this and tasting this because I'm sure it's uncomparable with rice but when I tried it I like it so much especially for those health conscious this dish is for you so again if you can see one large head of cabbage can make you this amount so for me, this amount will last me, let's say, I can say, let's quarter it. At least three to four days. So you just keep, so, keep on mixing it. And then make sure your fire is on medium heat. But when you mix it, mix it gently. Okay, and then let's just leave it here for a minute. Let's just leave it for a minute. If you can only smell it, it smells so nice. Then we mix it again. So my suggestion is do not cover it. This is onion, but I'm going to remove it. 
So there guys, uh, my suggestion is to finely chop the onion so that your kids can eat it too. Because I know there are kids who are very picky eater doesn't want don't want to eat onions. So just chop it finely. And to be honest, me, I don't like eating onions if it's really big. So all my dishes, I make sure that my onions are chopped finely. Okay? So let's get give this two minutes more. Then we're almost done. So now, it's already cooked. So you know that it's cooked when it's all dry. There's no more water in it or, you know, moisture. Let's just um, mix it one last time. And then we can ready plate it. We're going to get a plate. We're going to plate it, okay? okay? Going to plate it. So again, guys, this will be perfect with, you know, fried food or steam, steam fish with veggies. Let us transfer so no guilty feeling because this is low carb Ta so now guys this is our finished product our cabbage rice so again i'm going to be putting the ingredients down below at the description box so that you can also copy it and also if you have any food requests or anything that you would like me to cook just comment down below and again guys thank you for watching this video please do not forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you get notified with my new videos and please give it a two thumbs up and again thank you bye bye